So you've seen the assignment operator where we associate a value with a variable or a name or an identifier. So let's consider how Python is doing this. It uses a namespace. In a namespace, we could think of as being divided into a list of names and a list of objects or values. And this is just something stored in computer memory. And if we write an assignment operation like x is equal to 3, it says, OK, here's a name. It's x. And I'm going to associate it with the value 3. Now, later on in our code, we might say x is equal to 7. And what Python will do is, well, it doesn't have a new name, but there is a new value here. And it associates that name with the new value. Now, this 3 that existed in the computer memory, it may still be there. We don't worry about that. That's Python's job to keep track of these objects and values in there. Okay? And then if we increment x by 1, we get the former value of x was 7. We add to that 1, we get 8. We reassign that to the value of x. So in memory, we have 8 there. And x is now associated with that. OK, let, let's give another example of what goes on in a namespace. So here is a namespace, the list of names, list of objects. We have an assignment statement. x is equal to 3. I'll write the arrow in red this time that's telling us that the value of x is 3. So 3 is associated with x. Let's add another statement of Python here. Let's say y is equal to x. Well, that will say, OK, y, you kind of point to the same memory where you'll find the value 3. But now let's reassign x to a new value, this integer 9. OK, so x now points to 9. y still points to the 3 that it pointed to before. Now, in Python, I can assign x a float value of 9.0. And now it points to that float value of 9.0. That 9 may still exist in memory, that integer 9. We don't worry about that. That's Python's job to worry about that. And then how about if we say x is equal to the string 9? Well, now in memory, these characters, n, i, n, e, will be stored somewhere. And the namespace will give the mapping from x to this string of characters. Now, in some other computer languages, things do not behave this way. A particular identifier or name is always associated with a certain location in memory. In Python, it's not that way. And it's the namespace's job to keep the mapping of names to objects straight.